Hello viewers, welcome back. So I've been busy lately with work and uh, I'm now on my holiday so I couldn't get the time to produce some new magnetic motor for you. But today has come the day. So I designed it, the Harold Miller magnetic motor. So this image over here. So this is basically the, uh, the device which converts the reciprocating to the rotational uh, motion with the permanent magnets on the main shaft and uh, with creation of high force with this reciprocating motion we should get on the output some significant uh, torque and power so that's the idea of this magnetic motor yeah so let's get to the drawings and see now how this is supposed to work okay so this should be the Harold Miller magnetic motor or reciprocating device so this uh, this device actually transfers reciprocating to the rotational motion on this part over here so if i turn it in this way so this component will be our drive motor which should be electronically controlled from outside to go to rotate this main shaft left and right so this 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 magnetic uh, these rotors will not go for, uh, in rotational but it, they will go just left and right for 45 degrees and what then happens yeah so this is the drive motor it will start this reciprocating motion with these permanent magnets on the rotor and then on the back side uh, we will have the, the transmission mechanism to transfer the reciprocating motion to the circular motion which can be transferred to the main output shaft uh, and then connected this shaft with the output generator and that's it that's how the whole system should work and if I select now the housing, so this should be only the housing which holds which holds these uh, rotors in the place and also these uh, rods which hold this into the place. Yeah? So you can see, so this is our, let's say, stator. And now we have the rotor part of the system. This is the main output sha main shaft, three uh, rotors with permanent magnets. And now you can see what's here the key. Yeah? So these magnets are, uh, two of them are uh, positioned that they attract each other and two of them that they repel each other. So you see blue, blue, and in this side you see red, blue. So, so these last two uh, attract each other and these uh, first two actually repel each other. And with this arrangement we will achieve the reciprocating motion that this go left and right controlled by this primary or input uh, motor controlled by the digital controller yeah? so that's it and, and with this uh, arrangement so these uh, rotors magnetic, with ma permanent magnets will able to create uh, such strong uh, force yeah? or strikes how they how it called how it call is in the patent the strikes will be uh, created with these three uh, rotors so that on the output we will be able to get some uh, some strong uh, force yeah? so on, on this main shaft and we, with this transferring of the reciprocating to the uh, rotational uh, motion we will get uh, on output generator could rotate and produce free energy and basically this is it there is a lot of explanation I think it's uh, 30 pages so you can see that actually this uh, uh, this does not look in this way so so this mechanism for transmitting or reciprocating to the but it's just uh, for the purpose of demonstration to be easier that you can understand that this will be uh, this rotation this reciprocating motion left and right must be transferred to the rotational and this mechanism looks a little bit different if you check in the patent and there is now many many explanation in the patent this actually increases the torque you know, so this is the torque creating device uh, and and if you check the patent you will see how these uh, forces are exactly created with these three uh, rotors with permanent magnets and that's it all right so you have seen the harold miller magnetic motor a really unusual design but this is this very similar there is many designs like this which transfer the reciprocating to the rotational motion and use the permanent magnets to make a torque or to make a strokes which can create uh, let's say high torque on the output yeah and then transfer this uh, reciprocating motion to the rotational 
a motion which can be transferred to the, with the generator to free energy. That's basically it. That's the idea of this magnetic motor. So of course you can read much more in detail. I think this is 30 pages in total of this patent. So there are many applications for that. How inventor says. And there is even a YouTube video, original video of a huge device, several meters uh, big device uh, which works. Yeah? So you can check this. Yeah? But in the end, for this we need an input power, yeah, so input motor, so, and what we get on the output, yeah, so they, this, should, this should be tested yeah, in the end. So thank you for watching, I will try now to do much more of these uh, motors in the near future, because I'm going to my holidays next week, and then, uh, yeah, then let's see how it goes. So thank you for watching, stay tuned on my channel, bye bye.